None really. It's just business. I, I honestly just want to earn a job, uh, keep living up the dream. Uh, it's been a dream of mine for a long time, and I finally realized that I have an opportunity to, to make it come to fruition. Um, so there's really not much emotion that goes into it. It's just straight business. Uh, I realized the opportunity that I have, um, and I don't want to let it pass up. Ben, your level of focus, um, almost like you preparing for you know, national championship. Absolutely. That's ex that's probably the best way to say it, because um, there's not much. Not, there's not a time we all have that much focus and effort um, and energy put into a week. Obviously, it's a lot longer period, but just the the attention to detail, like we had uh, at Clemson, especially with our defense um, that week, uh, it's very similar. So I realized this is just as big as opportunity. Uh, this is my life. I'm trying to pay the bills, uh, hopefully one day support a family. Uh, this is the way I want to do it. So I realized this is a huge opportunity for me and it's very important to me. So the same effort, energy, focus, um, determination that I had and National Championship Week is the same that I'll have throughout the camp and hopefully through my career. After going undrafted, was this kind of the perfect situation for you and that you have a built-in support system from the fans here at home, yeah. a couple of guys like Luke and TD to learn from? It right. just seems like it's a lot of great factors. For no, you. absolutely. Uh, I feel like this is the best place for me to play, uh, at least right now in my career. I just feel like the market-wise, um, opportunity to learn uh, from the best in the business under Luke and TD and Shaq. Um, and then just support, support staff, being an hour away from home. Um, so I thought this is yeah, definitely, by far, was the best opportunity for me to, to make the team and, and flourish. I'm sure you saw some at minicamp, but you'll see a lot of love here. It's not normal that an undrafted rookie is maybe a fan favorite right. early on in this first training camp. And kind of what do you expect, and, and how much does that motivate you and maybe help your comfort level to get a lot of people out there rooting for you just due to your, your roots? Here? No, it definitely helps out. I mean, all the support I can get uh, is very appreciative. Um, I realize that I have to take care of my take care of business on my side of it too. Though uh, they're obviously not going to make me make the team just by the fan being the fan vote or whatever. I got to go out there and handle business every single day, do my job, be accountable, um, and be ready to fit in wherever that that need is is, is put. Um, but it's definitely very appreciative. Uh, that's that's kind of one of the main reasons why I wanted to stay close, so close to home. Uh, just calling like the market and the location was perfect for me. Uh, so I'm hoping to see a bunch of orange out there, uh, or out there tonight, and hopefully it was the rest of the training camp. Well, kind of Talk about what you've been asking Luke and Thomas and those guys that have really helped you, that, that you think has made a difference in the solid days to get ready for the Well, I think you remember, remember when my first start against Louisville, uh, you might not remember this when I was, I first start, I was freaking out, because uh, Tony, uh, Tony was out of the game, so I was starting beside Stefan, and Coach Venables was like, pissed because I kept I was asking him questions literally every 20 minutes like blowing his phone up just because I realized the opportunity that I had um, I realized the people that was counting on me that in the situation that I was in so it's kind of the same situation uh, like that first week when I was starting against Louisville blowing coach Venables up uh, it's the, probably the exact same situation I'm pretty sure I've made Luke mad probably numerous times because I am annoying him just that's just I realized that he's the best in the business um, I realize what he's done in his career and what he will continue to do. And he's a, a football guru. And I realize you don't have a guy like that in a lot of situations or other, other organizations. Um, so yeah, I'm a, a sponge with him, blowing him up every single day. Uh, if we're in meeting rooms, I'm tapping him on the shoulder. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been annoying him, but in a good way. I, th I think he's, he understands how, how much I want this job and how much I want this opportunity. Um, so he, I think he's okay with it, but probably sometimes he's probably been getting a little, a little annoyed. But you yeah, ask him about it. Ask him his, his opinion on it. Talk about your summer getting ready for training camp and going to the White House and getting a shout out from the president while you're there. No, that was cool. Um, really just seeing the White House. There's a lot of history that goes, behind, goes, um, goes on behind those closed doors that no one knows about. Uh, so it was a really a huge history lesson for us and for me and the entire team. Get to learn about all the paintings and murals. Um, I think it's in, in the East Wing. Um, so it was really cool just to get to learn about all that stuff. Um, yeah, and getting a shout out was really cool. I was not expecting that at all. So it was definitely a fun day getting to see the, the Capitol building. So yeah, it, was, it, was, it was a great trip. Ben, being around Keekly and guys like Thomas Davis and Shaq Thompson is probably great for your own learning capability. Right. But the other side of the sword is that this is one of the toughest positions to be in in the league to make this roster behind those guys. Right. So how do 
do you make this roster? Uh, well, there's there's more spots than just two. Uh, there obviously uh, the the first starting job is probably it's definitely solidified, but there's probably four other spots that are open. And obviously, those guys, everyone's competing for a job. Um, so I mean, I, this I just want a job. I'm not trying to start or beat out Luke or TD. Um, I just want to make the team at this point. Um, so there's, they definitely take more than just two linebackers. So I realize there's there's spots open. Um, there's not much security when it comes in, in being in the NFL. Uh, so everyone's fighting for a job out there. Um, obviously, I'm probably not fighting for the number one job, but I'm fighting for a spot really. Um, so I realize that obviously I'm not. Yeah, like like you said, I wasn't going to go in and try to start, but there's there's spots open. Following up on Jordan, how do you make this? Job? Doing my job, being accountable, uh, wherever that'd be on mainly on special teams, uh, making an impact on that. And if I get to go in, uh, however many reps a day, if I get ten reps a day, making sure that every single rep is perfect, um, and just knowing that they can count on me. Uh, I'm still not gonna probably play a 70 snaps a game, but if I got to go in four or five, that they can trust me and and know. And I'm going to do my job just as good as, as Luke or TD or any of those guys. Got to deal with Lunchables yet? Or? We're working on it. It's definitely uh, we're getting busy right now uh, being in camp, but my agents are working the phones probably as we speak. How quickly did you notice that your first time in an actual game, albeit an exhibition game, it's Deshaun Watson coming to town. How quickly did you notice that? And how it's a guy you get to chase around but never tackle. Right. No, yeah, he's been in a, a bubble for the past – for the three years when I was there, Coach Swinney would have, if anybody touched him, your scholarship's getting pulled immediately and probably get kicked off the team. Um, so, yeah, I didn't even get to – you even, couldn't even breathe on him when he was at Clemson. So, the fact there's no there's no limits now, no boundaries. Uh, hopefully, if I, I get to go in when he's in there and I get a good shot on him. Uh, hopefully, I get hopefully I get the opportunity to um, – I'll give him a big hug and a kiss after. But if, I, if the opportunity presents itself, I will definitely try to hit him. But he's pretty mobile. I saw where he was saying uh, someone – Asked him the other day that if I was blitzing, he would just like slide the protection. Uh, just, I thought it was just kind of funny because he probably would realize he knows all my tendencies. He's been playing for three years, so probably if I'm blitzing, he probably knows when I'm coming and would just slide the protection or probably juke me out. Honestly, because he's a pretty athletic guy. Uh, but if the opportunity presents itself, I will try my best. Uh, I don't know how successful I'll be, but I'll try to get a good lick on him.